She dug up monsters, but the world tried to bury her name. This is the untold story of Mary Anning, the woman who cracked open Earth's darkest secrets, the cliffs of Lyme Regis, England, 1811. A 12-year-old girl kneels in the mud, her hands raw from digging. Beside her lies a skull unlike anything ever seen, a monster from the deep past. Her name? Mary Anning, a poor, uneducated woman who would become one of the greatest fossil hunters in history. And yet, for decades, science forgot her. Born in 1799, Mary Anning's life began with a miracle. At just 15 months old, she survived a lightning strike that killed three women holding her. Locals whispered it marked her for greatness, and perhaps it did. Because by age 12, she and her brother Joseph unearthed the first complete ichthyosaur, a giant marine reptile lost to time. But Mary's world was stacked against her. A woman? Working class? In 19th century England, science was a gentleman's club. Yet she taught herself anatomy, geology, and even Latin to read scientific papers. She dissected squid to compare with her fossils. And her discoveries, like the serpent-necked plesiosaurus and the flying dimorphodon, shook the foundations of science. Her work was dangerous. She braved collapsing cliffs, storms, and even lost her beloved dog, Trey, to a landslide. But she persisted, selling fossils to tourists and scholars just to survive. Men like William Buckland and Georges Cuvier relied on her finds, yet rarely gave her credit. Here's the cruel irony. Mary Anning helped prove extinction was real, but her own legacy nearly went extinct. Buried in an unmarked grave, her name faded until now. Today, her statue stands tall in Lyme Regis. The Royal Society calls her a pioneer. And every time we say dinosaur, we owe a debt to the woman who dug up the past and changed our future. She sells seashells on, but her real trade was rewriting history. Mary Anning's legacy proves that genius isn't defined by titles or privilege, but by curiosity that refuses to quit. She walked cliffs others feared, held bones no one could name, and in her hands, the earth whispered its oldest stories. So the next time you hear she sells seashells, remember, this woman didn't just sell fossils. She sold us the past. Want more forgotten pioneers? Smash that like, subscribe, and dive into the comments. Tell us, who should we uncover next? The past is full of hidden heroes. Let's bring them into the light.